Welcome to another episode of Late Night Live. I got my boy in the house. The one and only, the legend. No name, y'all. Orale Vato. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get straight to it, man. Get to these uh, current events, man. Um, Jill Scott got a tape out. A so tape. they said. A tape? That's what they said. They had us all excited. Had Wait, no, no, no. I'm not tape. excited about a sex tape with Jill Scott. Why are you? Or is it a cassette tape like music? You know damn well what kind of tape. Oh man, I thought Jill Scott was getting risky, man. Like Jill Scott was getting Jill Scott. Scott she, was trying to, she was trying to put some seasoning salt on her career. See? That's what that's what they said. They said she had a they, she, she had a full play tape out. You right. know what I'm saying? And everybody was excited about it. You know what I'm saying? We were t- tweeting it, and everybody was tweeting each other over the blunt. <laughs> like you, you see, you see Jill type, yeah, my dog. We was all tweeting it for about for the last 24 hours. Buzzing, uh, buzzing. Uh, Jill, what it take? What it take? We looking at archives. We seeing all pictures, old pictures of her, and, and all. You know what I'm saying? How, how niggas is hugged up. My life is golden. Man, she was living her life like it's golden the whole time. So I'm trying to see how golden it was, right? So, but then she came out today and made a statement and was like, "Man, y'all tripping." Oh y'all thirsty niggas, y'all tripping. It's y'all know damn well. I wish y'all get that. Her, I, she said something along the lines. Of, I wish y'all get that juice about my new movies and my new albums coming out. Ah, oh, see, and I feel you on that, sis. I feel you on that. But for twenty four hours, we was lit about the. We, we was, was trying we, to look at the Jill Scott. We sex. was niggas was googling, sub googling. Binging it like Jill Scott, tech, Jill Scott. Golden booty? Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna put your, your business out there because it can't be found. We all can be found. But yeah. if there was a tape that was out there about you, would you be mad about it? How would you feel, or would you be cool with it? I mean, shit, if I did it, I wouldn't, you know. I mean, I, I ain't done nothing suspect, so I ain't really tripping. Like, you know, I, you know, I, you know I, the worst thing I did was... Uh, if somebody from your past was like, you know, oh, what it, you know, it be somebody from your past. It could just be, in this day, everybody got a camera. So you could be, like, you know what I'm saying? Wait, a video of what, though? Like, you know. You like, could be making love to your other, you know what I'm saying, to the, the loved one in your life, and somebody could just got you on camera, dog. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, an entertainer, yeah. dog. You go from town to town. Sometimes we get caught slipping. Yeah, you know I, what that I'm one time in the elevator. I get caught right slipping, away. yelling at the man in the liquor store, getting too loud, and they, you know, you be, hey, hey, young man, so young man, man young man. You what are you doing right there, sir? You're right, you're right. You're right. You're you put that new 40 on, sir. Right, put that new 40 right, on. You're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you want to charge a little extra 50 for, for the blood today? That's cool. I'm going to take that. You ain't wrong. <laughs> My man, I was tripping. I should not I should not have did all of that. I should have not done all of that. I was knocking shit over. I was knocking knocking your little, your little, your little gums over and Skittles and shit. No, fuck that. And say the blood is 10 55. Man, fam, your fam, your fam. You ever get mad because the back was too hot? Your fam. <laughs> Yo, man, it's 20 bucks, nigga. Right, so. I remember when the backwoods was $5. Yo, a pack. and that's what make you more With mad. With eight of them. That's what make you more mad. When you remember your old prices, man. Like, then they went from eight in a pack to man. five in a pack. They, look, Tell they me the price that, they, I, that I'm used to, fam. Don't give me the price that y'all just want to do. It, it used to be eight in a pack for $5. Then they put mm-hmm. five in a pack for $8. Mm-hmm. Then they went up to 10 oh, 12 shit. and then depending on where you is in the country you feel what I'm saying like a back yeah. might be like $37 that's you know what I'm saying <laughs> the back was cost more than the wig now <laughs> we niggas just went down back was for like $15 up. I got an for that diamond hood for $15 so alright ooh I'm just saying you can get caught like just being on some regular and then somebody just got you, you know what I'm saying? They just film you on something and then they'll come back later on in oh, life yeah. and will try to, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. hey, they try to blackmail you. Put you, I got tape footage of you and you be like, but that's my girl. I wasn't even doing it. But I'm going to show the world you and all you, all of you. Oh, man. What we doing? We sh- what, what, what you telling them, y'all? Break bread or fake dead. Whoa! Break bread or fake dead? Break bread or fake dead? Pay me! Either pay me or show it. I feel what you're saying. 
Cause I can make another, another one. Money. I show me the money. I can make another one for you. What y'all need? Y'all need some bread? What y'all? What y'all want to make some bread? I wouldn't be mad if my sex tape got out. See, cause yes, you know I never I fuck with to. no. I never fuck with no mud ducks. You know, so you know that would be embarrassing if she had like one tooth. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And you know a wandering eyeball. You know her eyeball fall out while you fucking. Like she got a glass eye that fall out while you. I think that would be the worst. Like if a. Oh, you get caught man. slipping on a bad night or something like that. Her and wig then, fall out and she got like. Because dudes will do that to girls, then, you know what I'm saying? Oh, up, at least all right. Oh, I'm over here. With, I was Nicky. I'm like Nicky with me and you all that. Yeah, catch her slipping. But Ooh, a regular bitch a regular got, got her camera up like <laughs> her arm fall off or. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Catch you like, on gutter night. You <laughs> catch you on gutter night. She got a bullet wound <laughs> all the way up like she done got. Beat up by the hell's angels, and you know you ain't coherent because that's how you end up with gutter, gutter, <laughs> gutter draws that night. You know what I'm saying? You done took everything. You done had hey, your you lowest. Look. You done been rock bottom. You done lost it all. Are you, you Angie Stone? Uh. <laughs> 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 the eyes be doing. You. I'm lightweight, knocked out. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. Wow, wow. So, sex tape get out. It's you. It's a love tape. Nature film. Get out. And this is a film of love. It's a film of love. Oh my God. And it's you and, he, and an Evander Holyfield looking woman. <laughs> <laughs> a pet bulldog. Man, I, I would be She cold. got the pet bulldog. That would face. be cold if a lady hits you up and be like, you know, use the voice and everything. Hello. Is this your man? I have a tweet for you. <laughs> Check your email. Right. <laughs> And then she was like, oh. uh, and they could, the cold part, she got you face deep. Man, and the cold part, they could doctor you up now where it don't even have to be. Like, you know, they could put your be, face right. on something that wasn't originally <laughs> on, dude. Like, she they, could put your face on a dude that she slept with. Oh, now you in the They could set you up with a green face mask. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and then just put your face on it. Yo. effect. Whoa! <laughs> you know Cause niggas right now, you can be right now. I see people on Twitch and all this and, and uh, social media stuff. They can just blur some shit behind them, like they in the yeah. skating ring or they wrestling or they flying with Spider Man. With a bitch just blurred you into the Zoom world, like the this helicopter behind us right now. Right, right. All you this, see this helicopter, yo. That was probably her right now. That was probably yeah, one I'm of the yeah. Group. She trying to miss Evandris Holyfield right now. Evandris, trying to black female me. I gotta stop saying it. Evander Holyfield got about 35 kids. They all named Evander. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them is, is females. I gotta be Gotta be sure. Gotta be sure. Uh, Antonio Brown, man. Oh, we gotta yeah. talk about this. Antonio Brown is in the news for uh, Steelers, ex Steelers football player, ex Raiders football player, and most currently, an ex Tampa Bay Bucks. Yeah, the Bucks. He yeah, played yeah. the Bucks. They won a Super Bowl. It was Tom Brady's. Uh, one of his go favorite man, go-to receivers and everything. Team was doing down. Team was doing bad. Man, they had too many injuries. And then they bring uh, AB into the last last week, and he on the sidelines. And uh, next thing you know, we I mean, people wasn't really paying attention that the game was going. The game was going. Next thing you know, you just see dude get up. You take his shirt off. You took his uh, took his uh, his pants off. His helmet. The whole shit. All that. And he he threw, that love, threw that motherfucker. That Walked across the field, low key. Gave everybody and chucked up the deuces and all that. Left everybody on stealth mode. Everybody was looking at it like, oh, what's up with AB? What's up with AB? So social media was going crazy. The internet's going crazy. I've heard reports where they say that dude was uh, a couple of yard, like a couple of catches, like you know what I'm saying. So Short many, of a touchdown. Yeah, so many touchdowns, so many yards, so many catches, and and with these incentives, they like three hundred and thirty thousand each. I mean, it's like three four of them. That's like a million dollars. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I, I, we, you know, they put those reports out there. Most recently, do I believe it was AB put the re, uh, the, the last one out that said that uh, he was hurt. He said he hurt his ankle, and he told the coach about it. it was like, yo, man, I hurt, I, my ankle is messed up. And he said they, they gave him the shot. You know what I'm saying? Or the cortisone. Yeah, yeah. shot him up. And it was like, you know, all right, man, do what you got to do. Handle your business out there. He was like, nah, <laughs> I, ain't, I can't do it. And then, you know what I'm saying? And according to AB, from what I heard, from what the report, I don't know if this is, you know, really from him personally, whatever, but from what's out there in the, in the, in the web, whatever they're saying, that he, that, uh, he, you know, the coach told him, hey, man, you don't go out there. 
You're done. You're done. Matter of fact, you're done right now. So that's what made him get up. Oh, I'm fired. I'm out. I'm fired. Up. Look at it like this, man. Look, look at it like this. You know, sports is a is a cold entertainment world. You know, because look at the horse race industry. Just imagine if niggas was treated like horses. Ooh. They go out and shoot the horse after if the horse. Ooh, a lot of people don't know that. Two or three races. They like make you kill don't. that nigga Yo, right there. The horse, it's a horse. The horse don't even have to be losing. If the horse, if a thoroughbred out there and he break his break ankle, his, uh, yeah, they, they shoot, shoot him. him on the. They shoot him right there on the turf, yeah. A lot of they people don't know him. that. My pops is a, is a horse racing <laughs> dude. Yeah, so, so they just, come right there. So and just and imagine if they treated niggas. Because they be they always be calling niggas too like oh yeah he's a workhorse right. on the field he's right. a he's a he's yeah. a beast or, oh he's a beast mode right. and they invest millions be, of yeah. dollars in you and all yeah. of this oh he's Ooh. a dog in there they, they always they always compare niggas to uh -huh. animals like oh he's a he's a yeah. monster or he's a Ooh. he's a tight like. They treat yeah, they treat me like that. Like, yeah, like oh, I see what you mean. Like I'm property. Yeah. If they really imagine, if they really did, you're right. They NBA. Yeah, like you, all, there, you don't want to dunk tonight, nigga. Load up yeah, get, on the court. Half, 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 half court, half court, half you know, court in the put, middle. They got tarp on him and just wheel him out. Right uh, on the Detroit Pistons logo, right ooh, in the middle. Like, hey, pow, like you dead, nigga. You're right. Considering you're right, how how owners. And how people really, really treat yeah. man, old school athletes yeah. and all that. And the people that own the teams be like old white men that ain't never hung around no black man in his life. Like, it, like niggas be like ninety years old. Like, damn. Oh, my boy. Look at my boy. Yeah, like, you're right. That's what they used to call niggas on the plantation. Come here, boy. Yeah, yeah. Like, Matter of fact, it wasn't even too long ago. Nigga, last year, we last year, the year before, we just we still get we had to get Trump out because he was. <laughs> Doing the same thing, calling us boy, telling us to get up and hey boy, get up and don't try to kneel for your rights and all that. So yeah. I, I, damn, dog, you're right. You That's boys, crazy. you boys so don't appreciate you. what so, we did for you. So if it was you, though, okay, how would you handle it though? Like just as a man, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know we all, if we all could say what we would have, should have, could have, whatever. But in hindsight, is there another way to go about it? Or, now, you, or is it like, do you feel like, man, nah, sometimes you got to check the it, it, it depends on how bad his injury was. You know what I'm saying? Like, some niggas be having that injury where the foot just dangle off and you can't do nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? If it's totally detached or, you know, if he had a bruised ankle, you're a professional. You got a couple million to play football. You know, it's niggas that go to work with AIDS and shit. You know what I'm saying? You're right, you're right, you're right. So it's like, you know. I, I can't down him though, cause I I don't feel that pain. I ain't you know I don't know like nigga might have concussions. Would you would you <clears throat> if you was a football player, you wide receiver in the NFL? You know what I'm saying? It's, you you a veteran. You kind of on your tail end of your career. How would you handle a, a, a situation like that? Would you have done it as publicly, or would you feel like nah? You know I mean I don't know. I mean me personally, I feel like. I would have, <laughs> I would have, I would have wanted to go out like AB. Honest to God, I would have wanted to go out like AB because I think sometimes that's what's necessary. When Larry Bird and all them dudes was handling their bit, man, they, you know what I'm saying? When the white dudes do it, they demonstrative, man. They, they real, they get, they get busy. And you know how they feel. You know, Aaron Rodgers just lied to everybody and did all, man, you know how they feel when they, you know what I'm saying? But when, you know what I'm saying? But when we do it a lot of times in order for, to keep the longevity of your name be clean and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to do... Like, you don't see LeBron just go out there just getting in fights, so, knocking people out. But behind closed doors, I'm pretty sure his big head out there cussing niggas out. It, it, it's, it's sports entertainment. You know, that's right. when that's when you mix the NFL with the WWE. You know, like... Uh -huh. you, like, Charles Barkley's most memorable moment was when he body slammed Shaq. Yeah, you Like, right. he had a lot of good... Plays in the NBA, never got a ring. <laughs> but but we remember that that nigga lifted up Shaq yeah. and slammed him. Nigga yeah. like bow, like niggas was like, Woo! yeah, yeah, I remember that. That's sports entertainment, you know. Mm -hmm. And they was friends, you know. what I'm saying they mamas know each other and trade pie secrets. Like, hey, what's up? He's probably got in it. All spice, nigga. Yeah. So you yeah. know, um, you know, like it's sports entertainment. I, I, it, I don't know. Like Antonio Brown, just. just I, you know, like maybe you yelled at the coach on the field. field. You ever yelled at the, you ever yelled at a coach before? You ever, you ever, you know what I'm saying? You play sports, dog. You ever been so hot and you just 
I know it's a tough one. Spreewell the only one we know that just really just that went at it like with the publicly. <laughs> but this happens all the time, though. You, you know what I'm saying? Like my favorite, I be watching Skip and Shannon and Shannon Sharp always talk. He like and Drew Bynum. Man, 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 yo. The, I'm the, saying the players will tell on it, yo. The players will tell. It. Like, oh, coach get knocked out all the time. It's cold. That's cold. On everything. Have you in your sports? You know what I'm saying? Growing up in, in all the sports that you've been in and all the sports you've seen and been around, have you yourself or ever, have you ever witnessed it or seen somebody else put hands on the coach? Put hands on the coach? No. Nah, because... Or you've been to the point where you thought he was about to put hands on the coach? A parent. Like, a parent? A parent, but uh -huh. that was about it. Like, I seen a parent about to get into it with a coach. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and... Um, my son plays soccer, and I was about to get into it with uh, a parent on the other side. You know what I'm saying? About what? Um, you say you play soccer, right? Yeah. You about to beat up a parent over soccer? So basically, um, how it, violent is soccer, y'all? Y'all whoop way too much ass in soccer, yo. Soccer's the most violent fucking sport I'm in the fucking you. world, yo. In the world, let's get to that. Win or loss. <laughs> so. Basically, the kids. And parents do it too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know it's their kids. You know, you know their kids. So basically, the little kid, you know, was playing against my son, and uh, his son got hit in the face with a ball. Boom! But that doesn't stop the play. Even though his son got kicked in the face, uh -huh. the ball he didn't get kicked in the face. The ball got kicked into his face, and then it ricocheted and went to... He's supposed to head bump that, wasn't he? Exactly. That's what they thought. That's what they the, the, the dome, the header. So, so he, he gave it the face. <laughs> and then he tried that. My header. son was right here, <laughs> and I told him, I said, get the ball, don't worry. He was He's worried about the kid on the ground being uh -huh. compassionate. I'm like, get the ball, don't worry about the kid. You know, being a, co a competitive his daddy parent. Daddy, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Boy, get it. And then after the, he got, the little kid got up, he was like, you said fuck me. That part, I know you did. No, I know you did. I know you did. You heard that. You heard, I know he did. He was like, I told him, man, forget that child of, of wonderful grace. <laughs> and keep playing your wonderful sport. No, you I handed it to kid. No, you did. You I, said fuck I, that I motherfucker. You said fuck that man. You gave the baby some oranges like you forgot you said it. You was like, man, you fuck him, man. Get that shit. <laughs> I told my son, I said, get the ball. He's just gay. Fuck his and weak so, ass, yo. The kid, the kid got up. It was like, you know, I'm hurt. He looked at me. He was like, I'm going to just tell him keep going. And I was like, the game. And, I was, and then they, the, where was the parent? Across the field. So after the game, <laughs> after the game, the dude came up to me like, yeah, you said you you about my son. And I was like, like, fuck my son. I was like, man, what you talking about, man? I said, listen, bro. He started walking up on me, and I was like, I said, big, was he like, he's a little short, dude. And I was just like, bro, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like holding him back and stuff. And then the referees came all around. It's like, sir, sir. He's like, no, he he said something bad to my kid. And the referee was right there. He said, sir, he didn't say anything bad to your kid. I'm right there. And, and, and so you know. It's, you know, sports entertainment. Oh, man. Sports entertainment. Sometimes it be like that, yo. Sometimes it be like Pee -wee that. Pee-wee soccer right, gets man. violent. That's what it is. That's what it is. Sometimes it be like that. All right, man. Well, uh, bro, you got a new album coming out. What's the name of the album, dog? Keep uh, it Timeless. Timeless? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I've, I've been fortunate enough to, man, be in the studio, hear these tracks coming out, man. You got a lot of uh, dope, dope features on it, man. Uh, people from New York to L.A., um, I don't, I don't even want to surprise because I don't know who, 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 you know what I'm saying, who's licensed to be Bing, Bang, and Bang, but, uh, I, I'm really excited about this project that you got coming out, your album you got coming out. I know that you, uh, literally on tour all around the country, man, from Houston to New York to LA to Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, Dallas, uh, Vegas, Phoenix, uh, so, yeah, I'm glad everybody getting the chance to really, uh, really, you know, catch up with all this, man, you a legend, you've been around for a long time, man. From Digital Underground days, uh, he also was a backup dancer for Luke and um, <laughs> <laughs> <Two Lock Crew. laughs> Rest in peace to my man Fresh man. Kid Ice, man, the Chinese one, man. That was my boy, man. He, he had a he had a heart attack, man, and Rest struggled. In you know they. Rest in peace, you know, China man. man died two years ago. Shout out know. to China Man, yo. Shout out to Two Lock Crew. Shout out to Luke, man, and uh, shout out to man everybody. My man Marquise, where you at, Marquise? See? I'm trying to tell brother you, brother uh, Marquise. 
No name. Where can they find this uh this new music, man? Um, right now it's only found in my hard drive. Where can they it's... find the music that you have out, fool? Oh, it's on uh, uh go to go to iTunes and uh, Google Music and Amazon Prime. Oh, it's on all of it's them. It's on all uh, the platforms, Tidal. Spotify, all the yeah. things that you would find music on. He's it's, being very coy it's, with it's you right now. Big No Name. Big No Name presents twenty four seven three sixty five is the first one, and then the other one is uh Trapped in Time. Big No Name. I'll have links underneath for everybody to follow. Yeah. Make sure y'all, man, I'll have you back as well, man. Big no name. My brother Brent. Love you, bro. Love you too, my nigga. Arriba!